Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, and we are live here for this primetime matchup. There's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air. These teams get really fired up taking center stage on a night like this. Well, you said it right, taking center stage. Today's professional athlete, we know, we talk to all these players all the time. They love it when they're on stage and everybody is looking at them. Well, let me tell you this. We are looking tonight. This should be fun to watch. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. And now, trotting on to the field, quarterback Geno Smith. Geno Smith's got to show everybody they were wrong, that he was a first-round quarterback, drafted in the second by the Jets. He has a lot of talent. Let's see if he can display it on the field. First and 10, counter run here. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Antonio Holmes had an injury plague season a year ago. Well, they need him to be healthy, and they need him to be a number one receiver. What does that mean? Coming to play every single week, not making middle errors, and finding ways to get open down the field. I think he can do it. We'll see. Second and seven. Throwing now to his left. Incomplete. Here are the starters today on defense. Winslow's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Smith standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. Matt McBriar ready to boot this one away. Jackson's going to try and return this punt. Vick's going to jog out to the huddle now. He's seen it all in this league with 13 years of experience. Avant in the slot. First and 10, play fake here. Throws to the right. On the money. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Fix dropping back the throw once again. As the reception all alone. We watched him in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They need to get the playoff. They'll go the other way with the reverse. He's going to the left. Here's the offensive line. For this team, they are the lifeblood of the offense. When they're blocking well, this team can do some serious damage. And today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. It's now second down. Trying to beat the play clock. McCoy's handed the football. And gets the first down. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score?
first down here after the run. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Eagles in the end zone. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. An extra point is good. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Tackles made right around the 26-yard line. Now a first down. Hand off. It's away from the stack. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. That leads us to second down. Left side. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. They were able to move the chains after that last run. First and 10. Staying with the running game on first down. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Right back to him one more time. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Now third and five after the run. The throw to the left, and he'll step out of bounds. <laughs> this defense you're playing against they're pretty good so it's fourth down near midfield punt the football no return the ball's coming out to the 20 Go with two tight ends on this play. McCoy, right side. Picks up six. A player to watch on this starting defensive unit. Rookie, Sheldon Richardson. He is athletic, Jim. He can run. He's fast. I've talked about that. Also powerful. And when you're on the defensive side, you need guys that can make plays to win games. That's Sheldon Richardson. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and four. Now makes the move to the right, and he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. I love what Michael Vick just did that time. He finds a little hole in the defense, and he takes off, and he picks up big yards and avoids contact. Nice job by Vick. Avant 
lined up in the slot. Now first and ten. They'll stay on the ground on first down. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the start of the second quarter. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground and the second quarter is underway with this snap well, that was a nice job by the offense it just puts them in a better position nice little throw and catch Second down coming up. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Gains 20. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Sets them up here on this play. Jones is going to secure the handoff. And he is tackled at the 14. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down. Move those chains and keep this offense going. the run complete gain of six always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone nice throw by the quarterback and he gets the completion Try over again on second down. They better hurry to get the snap. We'll go ground. Trying to find touchdown. Runs it across for the score. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Jets are ready to return the kick. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. They face first down. They'll go shotgun here. Going across the middle. And he's intercepted. Right, well, 
I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. He'll throw it over the middle, right where it had to be. Sometimes they tell the receiver just to go long, run a fly route, run a nine route, because that means straight ahead or a streak. Show the speed that you have and get it done. First down, following the long play. Play clock's running down. Jones gets the carry. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. The Eagles will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Touchdown. Runs it across. Touchdown. When you got a lead and you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Eagles had great starting field position following the interception, and they did a good job of not squandering that opportunity to score. And certainly the defense will be looking to force another turnover in a moment here for a touchback. They've come out in the dime package. Sanchez is going to take it from the gun. Looking across the middle, thrown incomplete. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. 2012 was a rough year for the Jets. They had the failed Tebow experiment. They had the butt fumble against New England. It just all the way around, nothing seemed to work. Yeah, it was a bad year in every way for the New York Jets last year, Jim. It was uh, bad planning during the offseason and definitely bad execution during the year. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. Winslow's in the slot here for this play. Third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Brings it in. And he's brought to the ground. That's what you got to do as a receiver in the NFL now. You, how about this play? He goes up high, makes the catch, takes the big hit, and holds on. This punt will be returned. Holds him to seven. Formation here for the defense. First and ten, setting up a little screen. And he's brought down right at the 42. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch and gets the first down.
That reception gave them the first down. Takes it from the strong eye. Throws the stiff arm. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Let's see how they back up the big play here. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Halftime is coming up. First, we reach the two-minute warning. Second down coming up. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Did not get both feet down. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses him. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Alex Henry for the field goal try. The kick is good. Well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense, good job by the kicker. They'll take it at the 20. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And for about six. Smith's move from the tight end position to the slot. The Jets get a first down. That brings the play to an end. The defense comes out of the dime. Looking to the right side and throwing. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch and he's got the first. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury and we ready? Uh, it's, just, it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. They're going to get him this time. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Throws to the right, and it's incomplete. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. It's third down coming up. And Ivory's taking the handoff. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Johnson from the 30. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. First down on the way. The old counter play. 
backhand. He'll try it left. He's brought to a halt. So that's going to do it for the first half. Eagles are up in this one. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Jets come out in the nickel. The third quarter begins with this play. Heaving it down the field. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Toss to the outside. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Brown's going to get it again here. Second down. Flip to the outside. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gives him a few yards. They bring in the extra tight end. The play clock's running down. Did not beat the play clock. Third down after the penalty. Foles is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Reaches out and grabs it. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. That'll stop the play right there. Winslow's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. And of the shotgun, challenging the defenders to the right side, and that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. 
Mark Sanchez from the gun. Adams completion this time, and he is brought down at the 45-yard line. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. They've got a first down now after that catch. Halfway through the third quarter, trying to work that left side. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Mark Sanchez has it under center. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. And Ivory's going to take all this out. Recovery by the offense. Nice job that time by the offense. Even though they fumble it, at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it right away. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Good piece of tackling. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. First down here after the run. And they go back to the ground. Five-yard total. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Mark Sanchez has it under center. Second and five, staying on the ground. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. From the gun, Mark Sanchez ready for the snap. From the shotgun, reaches out and snatches it. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. Should be an easy one here. That will bring us to the end of the third here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the beginning of the fourth quarter. Welcome back to this one-sided affair. Offense lines up here. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. They pounce on him there. This is turning into quite a drive, Bill. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. This has been a long drive so far. First and goal. The defense gets a sack. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you gotta help them out. How do you do that? 
where you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive right, linemen. Marching Andy. down the field and taking their time. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. The long drive continues. Third and 17, and Ivory's handed the football. Again, the offense unable to pick up the first down yardage on third down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Fourth and goal from here. Brings it into his body. I'll just say this, Jim, when you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. Foles takes a look now from under center. First and 10 from the eye. They give it to the deep back. Pretty typical play right here. When you're backed up against your own end zone, you run the football inside, and it just gets a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Out of the eye, the give to the tailback. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Third down, Nick Foles from the shotgun. Easy catch there, no one near him. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. First down here after the completion. Hand off to Jones. Bringing the play to an end. Offense lines up here. Second down and six. Jones on the toss. Gets the football. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. They need to get the playoff. Drop back, shotgun formation. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. What could the defensive back do? The answer is nothing. When it's a back shoulder throw on a post route, there's nothing he can do to defend that. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. Brown's going to secure the handoff. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards.
And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Run it again, taking it up the middle. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Staying on the ground. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block? to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. That's it. This game is over. Well, the lights were bright, and the team was up for the occasion here, winning in prime time. Nothing like it, man, winning in prime time when you know it's all about you. And I've said many times, today's football players, they love being on the big stage. Well, they were today, and they got it done. When you get near the goal line, Jim, it's a nice thing when your offense can run the football in for the touchdown. They showed some toughness, they got it done, that's why we're calling it the play of the game. It's been a game we'll always remember. Jim Nance, Phil Sibbs, so glad to bring it to you. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.